Dr. Kome, let's bring the documents here up front. Uh, there will be three documents to be signed, one by the incoming CS, one by the outgoing CS, and one for our records. Uh, so please bring them, have them signed, and then after that we'll ask the two CSEs to come forward together with the peers so that we take a photo of here. Okay, thank you very much. We'll ask the CSEs to take a copy each and please come forward for uh, a photo. Just here and mind the steps so that we don't, uh, we don't cause an accident. <laughs> just, just in front here. Right. Let's have a round of applause. Thank you very much. I once again call upon uh, the peers, Mohamed Dibal, to carry out the rest of the program. So let me take this uh, opportunity now to welcome the outgoing CS, Davis Chip Chip, to make his remarks. Carry on, Thank you, uh, Liban. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Asante. Um, my colleague, uh, CS James uh, Wandai. Um, my friend, uh, Liban Mohammed, PS Petroleum. We've got our two chairmen, and thank you, Chairman uh, Jackton. Ajuan, Honorable Justice Jackson Ajuan, Chairman Epra, and uh, Chairman, Senator, uh, Governor, former CS, uh, uh, Kirait Murungi. Uh, thank you for coming to witness this handing over ceremony. Let me also acknowledge the presence of some CEOs, Joe Sang, I've seen Joseph uh, Ndeto, Ndoti, I've seen uh, Wabuyabu, we were together Julius Wabuyabu, and colleagues, everybody in the house uh, this afternoon. Uh, it, it's basically a happy moment and a sad moment that uh, I'm leaving Ministry of Energy every, tw tw every 20th month. <laughs> uh, but I really uh, want to thank God today for the time we spent together and to thank really uh, the president for giving me the opportunity to serve in the highest decision-making organ in the cabinet uh, and more specifically in the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum where we worked and achieved a lot of things together. 
So uh, really, I'm grateful and happy that I've had that opportunity to be in that position where we together work as a team for me to be able to represent us in cabinet in energy and petroleum matters. So um, let me, I don't take that for granted. Uh, I really uh, want to acknowledge that support um, that I've heard from you even as I went to cabinet with the very many cabinet papers uh, that uh, we've been able to prosecute together yesterday and the day before yesterday we've been going through an induction program at the uh, National uh, Defense University in Karen and uh, we did, we were shown that we had passed on 280 cabinet memos in the last financial year and of those uh, cabinet memos I think 20, up to 20 came from the Ministry of Energy and fairly solid, well done documents that secures the energy security and the petroleum security of this country. So thank you very much for that great work we've done together, from policy to operationalizing those, some of those uh, uh, decision uh, uh, documents that gives security of energy for this country, not today, but in the years to come. Uh, secondly, let me welcome my colleague, uh, Honorable James uh, Opie Wandai, to this ministry. James, this is a great, a great ministry, this is a great team. As we sat briefly in the boardroom uh, before coming here, you did hear from the two others, uh, Jackton, uh, Justice Jackton Ojuang, retired, and uh, former Minister Kiraitu Murungi, that in this ministry, it's a very quiet ministry, and we don't make a lot of noise, but you see results. Um, we are not working for today, the ministry. We plan for the several years to come. Uh, we are now planning for generation that will secure the country by the year 2026, 20, 27, 28. Because to deliver an energy project like when we went this morning to Isinia to look at the substation that connects uh, Mariakani, that connects um, uh, Tanzania, that connects Konsa with power coming out of uh, Suswa, uh, we are told it takes up to 18 months to deliver. But because they are big programs, it can take up to six years. And you don't want to be in a situation where the country, because of overrun on a program running into three, four, five, six years, the country has got energy challenges. So welcome, you are in good hands, you've got a great team, and I'm sure you will really deliver a lot of success for this country in the, in the energy and petroleum space. Um, while welcoming you and for the documents you've signed, and because I've spent time with you from the time we were nominated, I've spent a lot of time with uh, my colleague, you will note that the space of energy is a very interesting space where we have allowed the private sector to work with us. Whereas uh, we have a fully unbundled, unbundled uh, energy space, particularly in generation of power, in the transmission space, and uh, in the off-tech and supported by the law, we are able to license independent power operators to compete with Kenjan. We are able today to uh, license uh, transmission companies to build uh, transmission links. There are some programs with Africa 50 and uh, a number of other concessionaires who are building um, transmission lines on PPP uh, framework to support us to be able to wheel power to market because the investment in energy is quite significant. And with the challenges of crowding the headroom with social investment in education, in health, uh, it is important that we continue to deliver power to the various uh, load centers. Load centers, Waziri, you did ask, what is this load center? Where the energy is consumed or where the industries are? And it's important that we continue delivering power. And even for Kenya Power today, we are able to get competition 